Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So, in today's video, we are going to learn hardwired control units. Yeah, if that name scares you, if you have seen that name before but try to skip that topic, this is a video you want to watch. Uh, in hardwired control units, there are three types. We start with the most basic one called state table method. This is the first method by which hardwired control units are made. It is very simple but is also very inefficient. It is ideally suited for very small processors with a handful of instructions. Anything bigger than that, this creates too big a circuit which becomes unmanageable. Then a remarkable improvement from going starting from a table, we take the starting point as a flowchart. The flowchart method called delay element method very interesting to understand okay this actually teaches you how a flow chart becomes a circuit you've seen flow charts i'm sure you've written flow charts in school uh, how to make a circuit out of a flow chart is what this method teaches you uh, we'll be spending maximum time on this method because the final method of course is called sequence counter method this is the real world implementation of a hardwired control unit but this is completely derived from delay element method, from the flowchart method. It's just that the flowchart method had one serious drawback. That drawback is overcome in this new method called sequence counters. So, from exam point of view, this is where your marks lie. When you get a 10 mark question, explain hardwired control unit. Oh, I forgot to tell. How important is this? From my experience of teaching the subject since 18 years, I can fairly say this video alone will cover your 10 marks in the exam, okay? You may get two separate five mark questions on this or you may get the whole thing as a 10 mark question. Now, when you get the whole thing as a 10 mark question, do not spend too much time on the first two methods. They are just the built up, the, the lead to uh, finally come to the uh, sequence counter method. This is where all your marks are. But if you want to understand, spend time in understanding delay element. It's this which gives rise to the sequence counter method. Okay, so that is the scope of this video. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, a few more basics. You know what is a control unit, right? Control unit is present in what? Memory? <laughs> no. Control unit is present inside the processor. The processor has two main parts, the execution unit and the control unit. Execution unit does operations. It has the ALU which we have made. Everything about the ALU we've already studied. But whether the ALU should add, whether it should subtract, whether it should consider carry, whether it should do blah, blah, blah is decided by control signals which are produced by the control unit which are based on the instructions. The instruction that we write goes to the control unit. So what is the job of the control unit? Decode the instruction, understand what it is supposed to do, release control signals and cause activities. Those activities are called micro operations. We did a video on that last time. Our previous video was on micro operations. So if you've seen that, you know what I'm talking about. So control signals cause micro operations. Those control signals are produced by the control unit. That's what we are learning. How does that control unit look from inside? This is a video about hardwired control units. The next video I'll be making is about the software method of making control units called microprogram control units. Okay, both are important. Both are guaranteed 10 mark questions each in the exam. Microprogram control units is very vast, so you may get different kinds of questions, but that is certain that it's going to carry 10 marks in the exam. And so is this hardwired control units. So these are two real big topics. Okay, we are about to start. Now, you know what I've been doing. This is an introduction. You want to watch the whole video or you want to learn the whole subject from me, please come to my website. It is called www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. So the name, name, the same name as the name of this channel. Uh, get into the website, create your login ID. There is a subscription amount that you got to pay. Of course, this is not free. This is professional service. Uh, but we've kept the price ridiculously low. It is accessible to everybody. It's 1000 rupees, 999. Anyway, make the subscription. The moment you do that, your subscription, the moment you make the payment, your subscription is active instantly. You can start watching the videos and your subscription remains active for the next six months. So whether your exam is tomorrow or whether you're the kind of students who like to study way in advance, uh, it's suitable to all of y'all. Even if your exams are over and as in you've, your exams are a few days from now, you finish your exams and then you still want to come back and learn a few more things because this is one subject that lays the foundation to understand big subjects about computers. You want to learn operating systems, the foundation is in CO. So anyway, so you want to get back to the subject, you want to learn a few more things. Like I said, your subscription is active for six months. So you can keep watching the videos again and again, grasp as much knowledge. Many a times when you watch something the second time, you understand so much more out of it because you're already at a particular level. Okay. So anyway, wish you all the best. Do well.